In this video, we will study about Cleese construction of slider crank mechanism. Now, first let's study about what is Cleese construction. Cleese construction is used to draw the draw two things. That is to find out the velocity diagram, velocity diagram, not velocity diagram, but actually uh, uh, velocity of all the wings. And second, acceleration, acceleration of all the links. Okay. So this is our slider crank mechanism. It is rotating. Uh, the OC is a crank, and PC is the connecting rod and we have to find out the velocity and acceleration of all the things with uh, with using <coughs> clean construction okay so let us first study the so let us first find out the velocity diagram using clean construction okay so for that for velocity diagram first we extend the line pc extend this line pc and from and and draw a line from o draw a line from o that will be perpendicular to po okay so this line if i say this line is so this line should be perpendicular to po this line will be perpendicular to po and if we name it point M, so this triangle, the triangle OCM, is the is the we can say velocity, uh, you can say velocity diagram of velocity diagram of the slider crank mechanism. This will give this triangle will give the velocity diagram of velocity of all the links. Now, how it will give the uh, velocity of all the links and the proof of this this that this uh, this uh, triangle give a uh, velocity of all the links will be here so let us prove that this will be the this uh, the length of this uh, triangle will give the velocity of all the links now we know that uh, let us first draw the velocity diagram of uh, 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 this uh, slider crank mechanism okay so we have studied that now velocity of c with respect to o will be perpendicular to the link oc so if we uh, we have to assume a fixed point o now velocity of the link will would be perpendicular to oc so i'm not drawing this diagram to the appropriate scale but uh, in order to make you understand this whole process I appropriately just draw the velocity diagram so uh, the uh, OC, velocity of OC will be uh, velocity of C will be perpendicular to OC so let's this point is C and it will, this will be perpendicular to OC okay and now C is going upwards since omega is in that is this direction so c is going upwards so c will see that p is going downwards hence velocity of p with respect to c will be downwards so and that will be perpendicular to that will be perpendicular to pc so this will be perpendicular to pc now velocity of p with respect to o will be along the line po so if i draw uh, this will be extended we don't know the magnitude but we know the direction so we extend it and uh, from o with along the horizontal line we draw a line to get the velocity diagram so this is the actual velocity diagram of this slider crank mechanism now if we rotate it this diagram if I name it OCP now if we rotate this diagram uh, triangle OCP through a 90 degree we get
this side if this is 90 degrees so this side will be now p dash will be this okay and uh, this will be rotated like this and this okay so this will be uh, if this is c then this will be come to c1 we have done we have rotated this whole triangle to we have rotated this whole triangle to 90 degree so p will be p1 and uh, p will be at p1 sorry and c will be at c1 and o will be at it own position now now this op represent the velocity of p with respect to o this represent the velocity of p with respect to c <coughs> and this oc will represent the velocity of c with respect to o okay so this pc will be velocity of pc this will be velocity of this will be velocity of co and this will be velocity of no sorry velocity of po and this will be velocity of co okay now this p1 c1 if we rotate it then this p1 c1 will be parallel to the line pc and c1 o1 will be parallel to the line oc and o p1 will be parallel to the line om now by this we can say that the triangle so by this we can say that the triangle o p1 c1 is similar to triangle o c m okay so we can write over here triangle o c m and triangle o c1 p1 is similar so so we can write over here so using the uh, criteria of similar triangles we can write c1 p1 upon cm is equals to o p1 upon om is equals to o c1 upon oc and that will be constant and that constant will be equal to omega because this represents the velocity and we are we are dividing the velocity with the length of the links so that will be equal to omega okay so and c1 p1 is what c1 p1 is representing the velocity of pc upon cm and o1 o p1 is what it is representing the velocity of po upon om and o c1 is what it is representing the velocity of co upon o c1 but o c sorry o c that will be omega so from here we can write v p c is equals to omega into c m v p o is equals to omega into o m <coughs> and v c o is equals to omega into o c okay so this is by this <coughs> we can we are knowing the length of this c o c m and o m so we can find out the velocity so uh, if we draw the clean construction that is this diagram and uh, if we measure the lengths of cm om and co and we multiplied by the o, we if we multiplied we we multiplied this length lengths by omega we will get the uh, velocity of the links okay so by this we will get the velocity of the different things <coughs> now now let us come out to the acceleration diagram now for acceleration diagram we have to construct a two triangles the first triangle will be first as a diameter <coughs> take pc as a diameter and draw a circle from the midpoint of the pc suppose uh, this is the midpoint of pc and uh, uh, taking radius as p we, i am drawing the di uh, circle as like this this 
is the appropriate circle okay uh, and now what is the second step second step take c as a center and m and take cm as a radius and draw a another circle okay so this circle will be like this cut some sorry I think the circle is getting a little bit bigger so this will I hope now this will be the circle if I draw it clearly so this will be the first circle and taking C as a center and M as a radius this will be the second circle now suppose this is a second circle now what we do we take the intersecting points that is this is K and this is L okay now what we do here we join the point KL this is K, this is L and this is K so we join the point KL and extend it to cut the line PO at N N okay so our acceleration diagram will be and uh, <coughs> let this KL line cuts the line PC at Q so this will be the our acceleration diagram so this will be the acceleration diagram if I draw it clearly so this will be acceleration diagram so uh, quadrilateral quadrilateral C O Q N will give the acceleration diagram now how this quadrilateral is useful to find out the acceleration of the various links uh, uh, this you will be understanding uh, when we draw the actual acceleration diagram of this link okay so uh, let's draw the actual uh, acceleration diagram of this uh, uh, static angle mechanism so the since uh, co is moving with a constant angular velocity omega so the radial acceleration of the co will be along the line co so let this be the fixed point c uh, sorry o so this will be appropriate like this uh, the radial acceleration of co will be along the line co so this is the along the line co let us name it c okay and uh, 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 after that the uh, PC uh, the link PC has uh, both the acceleration that is uh, tangential and radial so uh, radial will be along the line PC so if I name it this will be the PC this will be the CP this is the radial acceleration of uh, this is the radial acceleration of uh, you can say OC and this is the radial acceleration of AR PC now the tangential acceleration of PC will be now we know the uh, magnitude of uh, the uh, radial acceleration of PC but we don't know the magnitude magnitude of tangential acceleration of uh, PC but we know the direction of tangential acceleration so uh, and that will be perpendicular to this line PC so we draw a unknown uh, draw a line with unknown magnitude and extend it that is perpendicular to PC now uh, we know that acceleration of P will be along the uh, line PO so with horizontal we we are drawing the so this is the point if we name it uh, uh, O O C dash <coughs> P dash <coughs> then this will be let's say X okay this is the line O sorry if I name it O C dash P dash and this is X okay now 
if I uh, if I rotate it through 180 degree we will get this quadrilateral if rotating rotating O C dash P dash X to a, a angle of 180 degree 180 degree we get C Q N O because uh, so uh, we, we are getting that uh, the quadrilateral C Q N O and O C dash P dash X are are similar so these two quadrilateral are similar so we can write over here that now if we rotate it rotate it through 180 degree we find that C C dash P dash is perpendicular to C Q uh, sorry parallel to C Q so C dash P dash upon C Q is equals to P dash and X dash if we rotate it then this will be perpendicular to Q n so P dash and X will be parallel to Q n so this upon Q n is equals to O X will be parallel will be parallel to O n so this upon O n and this and O C dash will be perpendicular to C O dash parallel to sorry parallel to O C dash will be parallel to O C dash and this will be constant and this will be is equals to omega square okay now I forgot to name uh, this all uh, acceleration so let us first uh, name it this is the acceleration of uh, tangential acceleration of uh, what uh, tangential acceleration of P with respect to C and this is the tangential acceleration of P with respect to O okay so this is uh, we have uh, named it now what we do what we do here now uh, now C dash P dash is what radial acceleration of PC upon CQ and P dash X is what it is tangential acceleration of PC with respect to QN and OX is what it is tangential acceleration of PO with respect to what ON and uh, OC dash what tangential acceleration of TC upon OC that will be here like that will be omega square okay now now if we are knowing the length of this particular uh, this uh, this uh, particular quadrilateral that is C Q and O now if we are putting the value over here we are knowing the omega already we have given in the equation uh, already so we can find out here uh, from here that ARPC ATPC uh, that is tangential ratio of PC tangential ratio of PO and uh, relative ratio of DC links sorry OC so not, sorry, not DC there will be OC so we can find out uh, we can find here a radial acceleration of PC will be omega square into CQ tangential acceleration of PC is equals to omega square into QN uh, AT PO will be omega square into ON similarly AR DC is equals to omega square into OC <coughs> what we have to do only we have to draw a uh, draw a draw a uh, uh, what you can say uh, this uh, this quadrilateral by drawing the true circle uh, by taking a PQS PC as a diameter and draw a circle and taking a CM as a radius and C as a center we draw two circle we will uh, take the intersecting line and uh, extend it to cut at N and the Q so uh, the uh, quadrilateral CQ and O will be formed and taking the length of each side of the quadrilateral CQ, CQ and O uh, and uh, uh, multiplying it by omega square we will get the acceleration of each links 